everyone this is Sandra at Spirit of Avalon so today I thought I would show the Oracle deck that I got um, from Watkins in London when I was there last Friday um, so this is Oracle of the Birds it's a 46 card deck and guidebook it's by I'm not sure if that's Jean or Jan or Jeannie <laughs> Ruland illustrated by Petra Cahoon or Coon, Petra Coon possibly. It's by Fine Horn Press. On the back it says Potent allies, power animals and spirit guides. Birds connect the physical realm with the one of spirit, leading us into the world of the immortal soul. Quick in their movements with their ability to take flight instantly, they carry the spiritual quality of freedom. Gliding on the wings of a bird, we literally take on a superior view, gaining a wider perspective on our life. Illuminating their spiritual messages and powers, these 46 beautifully illustrated cards each share the medicine of a winged friend and a brief message about the significance of its presence. The guidebook details the deeper meaning of each bird and its magical feathers, along with an affirmation focused on its unique gifts and talents. Whether eagle, swan or phoenix, your feathered guides help you find healing, growth and insight on your spiritual path. Now, it looks like the creator has actually passed. So 1966 to 2021 was a new age visionary and medium teacher and author. Her focus lay with nature, angels, huna and sacred geometry. And Petra Kuhn is an illustrator and workshop leader who delights in motifs originating in almost fairy tale scenes as well, in, as, well as in spiritual world she lives in Germany. So it's a two part box. It's not that easy to get apart because there's no thumb holes. But it's just like that inside. So, yeah, and it's nice, hard box. Then we get a guidebook. So this is the book. So, a dedication there. And then we've got a preface, introduction, how to work with the cards, and then the cards themselves. Here's the introduction. So, quite short introduction, a bit about how to work with the cards. And then we go into the card. So we get a black and white picture of the card, the name, um, like sort of a little sentence underneath. Here we've got the meaning of the card. Also magic feathers, so we get a bit about the feathers there also more meanings and then an affirmation so we see, this is the bar soul bird um affirmation i'm a spiritual being having a human experience for a period of time and as a spiritual being i have access to all levels and dimensions of being so that's that one so they're all um basically the same And then we've got the author and the artist at the back. So, yes, yeah, 111 pages. So quite a nice guidebook. Your light is as free as a bird, forever free. Now, the first thing I will say about the cards is I don't like the backs because we've got this lift your gaze to the sky be unique free and yet connected on the back of every card so that's unfortunate um i would have preferred it to have just been this green with the two feathers and not this part in the middle but it's fine um i I'm not going to be reading with the backs, so, but it's just, um, I would have preferred not to have that bit in the middle. So, 
let's take a look at the cards now they are glossy so they are a bit slippy let's make sure I'm trying to see if this is in focus now this is a tarot card so they are quite a lot wider and a little bit taller um, which you know is normal for oracle cards so our first card is the bar soul bird essence of the soul there is a time for everything see life as a gift now i'm assuming this isn't an actual real bird that this is like um, a sort of magical creature or fantasy type bird you know a bit like a phoenix so that is our first card Cardstock is quite thin, not not really terrible, but it is thin. But it will be great if you're a riffle shuffler because it's very bendy. But um, yeah, I wouldn't say the best cardstock, but I'm I'm okay with it. Um, a bird of paradise, higher self, vocation, fully accept your radiant light and illuminate the world with it. That's lovely, that, isn't it? Look at that, bird of paradise. I love that. Blackbird. I love blackbirds. Celestial vision and earthly life. Open yourself to the light of heaven and the beauty of the earth. Joy and happiness await you. We have the buzzard. See them sometimes here. Vigilance, inner balance, awareness, power of vision and vigilance pave your way to greater domains. Oh, look at the canary. Joyfulness, positivity, you are the light in this world your voice wants to be listened to. That's lovely. They're such bright birds, aren't they? Cormorant, it's these ones we often see by the ocean. Non-judgmental love. Look lovingly at the one in front of you. Oh, that's really nice. Crane. Concentration, alertness, calm, effervescent emotions. In calmness lies power. So, and I do like the artwork and like the background. I've almost got these like mandala type um, pieces of sort of artwork in the background crow well informed whatever the source listen to the messages that reach you from all directions so and actually i've been using my crow tarot quite a lot my mj cullinan i've got the mass market one and actually just before this video i was just finishing um edging it because i thought i was using it quite a bit and i thought it needs edging so i've done it in a gold sharpie so it's like a sort of old gold if you like which i thought matched quite nicely with the backs so cuckoo realization listen to your heart your intuition dove eternal love all is love you are infinitely loved it might be a little bit too much on the love there <laughs> duck Childlike love, observe yourself in the glow of your radiant soul. Eagle, enlightened spirit, divine guidance, take a new perspective, you are divinely guided. Love that one, look at the wings on that. Oh, egg. Fertility, new life, a fertile phase announces itself. Keep your energy field clear so you can fully unfold your creative power. Oh, it's lovely, the egg on the feathers there in the nest. Falcon, light bearer, golden messages reach you. Be ready for personal accomplishment. Feather message from the spiritual realm be assured the light worlds will support you and i do think that when you see feathers as well um, i was walking down um, the street one day and literally there was quite a large white feather just laying there on the path pure white 
so I take that as like a sign from spirit that's how I see it flamingo in a direction love and truth are the sanctuaries of your heart Garuda immortality blessing auspiciousness the portals to the light worlds open for you become the master of your being so again a kind of mythical um, bird goose loyalty reliability stay true to yourself you will find outer peace by finding peace within feels like one of the cards is stuck it isn't but it felt like it for a minute oh look hen and rooster renewal vitality take responsibility for yourself and for your life i love that I used to have hens um, when i was younger my dad always had hens i remember getting into trouble once because i went to feed them and left the gate open and they were all over the garden so that wasn't popular <laughs> Heron, balance of energy, yin and yang, meditation and introspection bring you into your power. Hummingbird, light from the highest levels, life is joy, harmony, beauty and diversity, let your light shine. Ibis, wisdom, follow the promptings of heart and soul, all wisdom dwells in you already. It's lovely. It's always um, makes me think of Egypt, the ibis bird. J. Balance in energy, increase energy. Words are magic. Choose them wisely. And this is uh, a J, the the type of J that we would see here. Kingfisher, fortune. Looking inside you, find strength and calm. Every person is the architect of their own fortune. Magpie, lots of these here. Happy partnership, reflect on what is. It is time to work together towards the great vision. Nest, oh, I love that. That's like a willow warbler's nest. Safety and security. Give space to your desires and visions. You are protected and looked after. So cute, those little willow warbler nests. Very small. Nightingale. Soul song. The queen of the night is kissing you awake. Follow the call of your heart. That's quite lovely. Ostrich. The big picture. Take unusual paths for peace and harmony. Owl, magic and healing power of the earth. Now is the time for healing and regeneration. That's a lovely one. There was owls outside my window, bedroom window for two nights running to hear them, um, tawny owls. I love hearing them, it's so cool. Parrot, communication, life expresses itself in many ways. Humour is only one of them. Peacock, perfection, recognise and live your beauty. Penguin, collaboration, loyalty, team spirit is required now. Phoenix, obviously again another mythical creature. Renewal, resurrection, change and transform in love. Because as we know they rise again from the flames pied wagtail these are lovely little birds as well joie de vivre and pleasure a so source of joie de vivre reveals itself to you draw from it with ease raven as ancestral wisdom the ancestors called you from afar sense their magic and wisdom love that and this this is what made me buy the deck. <laughs> Just one card, the red kite. I've never seen the red kite in any deck. And I love this because it's my um, my spirit animal, if you like. 
um, red kite vision, take flight and recognise the bigger picture. They're such beautiful birds, these ones. Oh, I love it. I love that there's a red kite card. Robin, bright joy, sound and singing. Live your being in complete joy and lightness. Seagull, constant flow of life, guidance. Live according to your own rhythm. Sparrow, conviviality, create space for the new, a significant new development lies ahead. Stalk, renewal, growth, purity, happy days lie ahead. Oh, look at the swallow. Spiritual guidance, happiness is imminent. They're lovely, they are. Swan. Light and beauty, recognise the beauty of life. It is mirrored in the gown of your soul. Thrush. Unfolding potential, express your diversity. Thunderbird. Supernatural power, guidance. Everyone has a task in the grand plan. Transform your powerful inner fire into light. Tit. I can hear you all sniggering. <laughs> oh dear. Because obviously there are different varieties of tits, like blue tits, great tits, cold tits. This one looks like a great tit. So playful, lightness, light-hearted, joie de vivre wants to unfold. So they've used that sentence again, the joie de vivre. That's okay, but and woodpecker, imagination, introspection, follow your heart, it leads you straight into a fulfilled life. So, yeah, I do like it. I love that I've got a bird deck. I would actually like to get a bird deck that's, um, I mean, these, the artwork in this is lovely. I really like it. Um, but I would like to get a bird deck that's got actual photographs of birds on. I'm not sure if you can still get that deck called Feathered Omens by, oh God, what's his name? Ted Andrews, because I know a lot of his decks are out of print now. Um, but that might um, be a good one um, to get, if I can get it, because I know that's uh, photographic. And I know his decks are not the prettiest, but they do tend to work well. So that is the deck, guys. Look at this scully here. It might just be out of shot. He's a strange one, isn't he? I picked him up off of... Um, it was a Facebook site, I think, or online somewhere. And he looks almost quite creepy. But he's sat in this and has been moulded out of it. And look at the back of him. So sparkly. He's really cool. I mean, all those little, you can see little, all the little tiny crystals. Look at them all sticking up here. I just think he's so cool because of all these little crystals sticking out on the back, like perfectly formed, like miniature crystals, miniature points. So cool. And these are just um, bumblebee jasper. But yeah, so that's the entire deck, guys. So that is the Oracle of the Birds. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching. I have still got the Robert M. Place deck, which I bought in Watkins to do a video of, and that I have got the book to go with it. So that will hopefully be my next video. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed. I hope everyone's doing really well, and I will talk to you all soon. Bye for now.